Shabbat Shalom, everyone. And thank you to Beth for that beautiful piece to settle our souls and give us a minute to take a deep breath and get focused and be ready to welcome in Shabbat and celebrate Shabbat together. My name is Carmel Lindner. I'm the Director of Education here at Temple Israel. And Rabbi and Lindy are enjoying a well-deserved vacation this week. Um, we do look forward to welcoming them back to the Bema next week, so make sure you tune in again next Friday. Uh, I am so excited that we can be together as a kihila, whether we're physically in this space or whether we're relaxing at home. So technology often gets a really bad name, but there are some things for which it does a lot of good. And allowing us all to be together as one kihila is one of those amazing and wonderful things. So let's welcome in Shabbat together. So with Hallelujah, number four on page one in your Siddur. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. week, we welcome in Shabbat with the lighting of the Shabbat candles. This week, we actually read the second set of Ten Commandments that we find in the Torah. And one of the differences between the first set and the second set is one set says, Shamor et Yom HaShabbat, to guard or to keep the Sabbath. And the second set says, Zachor, at Yom HaShabbat, to remember the Sabbath. And that's one of the reasons that we light two candles every Shabbat to remind us of both of our obligations, Zachor Veshamur, to remember and to keep the Shabbat. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kitshanu Vemitzvotav Vetzivahanu Lehad Likner Lehad Likner and I'd like to take a minute to send an apology out to the Lindenberg family, who we were hoping to have the honor of lighting candles last week, and it didn't work out because Ari was homesick. Thank goodness he's back with us tonight. So they were going to have the honor of lighting candles virtually this week, and we're having some other technical issues, so maybe the third time will be the charm. Sorry, Jeff and Pat and Linderberg family, we do love you, <laughs> and Shabbat Shalom. 
Our service continues with the Baruch Hu, the call to worship, on page nine. And those who are able, please rise. <laughs> Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? Our service continues with the Shema. The Shema is one of those prayers that actually comes directly out of Torah and we read it in this week's Torah portion. And so I'd like us to take a minute and think about the Shema. You may have seen others around you when they recite the Shema, close their eyes or cover their eyes. And when we say the Shema in this environment right after the Baruch Hu, we need to stop, to focus, to look inward. We are making a personal statement about our belief that Adonai is one, that there is in fact only one God. It's intimate, it's personal, it's an opportunity to get ourselves focused and prepared for the more challenging prayers that are coming. It's kind of setting the stage, so to speak. Later on in the service, during the Torah service, we say the Shema again. And at that moment, during the Torah service, we are making a public statement as a community that this is the foundation of our belief. So when we say the Shema as part of the Torah service, we actually do not cover our eyes or close our eyes. We look at each other and we remember that we all stand together. So let us continue with the words of the Shema on the bottom of page nine. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad 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 Baruch Shem Kevod Shem Kevod Machuto Le'olam Va'et Baruch Shem Kevod Shem Kevod Machuto Le'olam Va'et Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu 
Adonai Echad. Please be seated and join me in reading the Ve'ahavta in English in the middle of page 10. Love Adonai your God with every heartbeat, with every breath, with every conscious act. Keep in mind the words I command you today. Teach them to your children. Talk about them at home and at work whether you are tired or you are rested. Let them guide the work of your hands. Keep them in the forefront of your vision. Do not leave them at the doorway of your house or outside your gate. They are reminders to do all of my mitzvot so that you can be holy for God. I am Adonai, your God. Standing at the water's edge, the sea spray on your cheek, close your eyes and fill within the beating of freedom's drum. Listen closely on the breeze. Do you hear the music of the ages? Oh God, you beat the drum. You are the song. You are the wonder in each of us. With joy and awe, we sing to you this song of freedom. together at the bottom of page 11. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Eternal God, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up to find our hearts waiting to do your will. We praise you, guardian of Israel, whose love gives light to all the world. And we continue with the Vishamru at the top of page 13.
those who are able, please rise for the Amidah. Please be seated and join me in the Hebrew in the middle of page 15. Ritzei Adonai Eloheinu ve'amcha Yisrael u'tfilatam ve'ahava tekabel u'ti l'ratzon tamid avodat Yisrael amecha baruch ata Adonai she'odcha levadcha be'yir'a na'avod Be gracious, O Lord our God, to your people Israel and receive our prayers with love. May our worship always be acceptable to you. Modi manach nu lach, sha'atahu Adonai Eloheinu, velohe avotenu ve'imotenu le'olam va'el. Tzur chayenu ma'gen yishenu, atahu le'dor vador. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth, which day by day sustains us. For all these and more, we offer thanks. As we do each week, we take a few minutes to step away from the prayers of our Sidur and to reach into our hearts for our own personal prayers. I invite you to take a few moments of silent meditation now.
You may have seen me grinning a little bit as we began Pore Sukkot. It's a beautiful, lovely, quiet piece about peace. Sukkot Shalom, creating a shelter of peace. And just as we began, as sometimes happens in our sanctuary, we had the big boom box outside with the windows shaking, and then we had the revving of the motorcycle. And uh, as we continued to pray amongst the dissonant <laughs> sounds that were uh, coming into our sanctuary, I was most fully reminded that the word shalom doesn't just mean peace. It means completeness and wholeness. And when we look at our world, wholeness is in the quiet spaces and wholeness is in the loud spaces. So it really was actually a very beautiful moment. So, but a little awkward also. <laughs> <laughs> Though sometimes uh, beauty can be awkward, right? Ah, anyway, so we continue with Seder Kriyat HaTorah, the service for reading Torah, and it is my honor to invite our second vice president, Deborah Blinder, to join me on the bima. And those who are able, please rise. Kim <laughs> Hitzion. Tate Tora Kim Hitzion Tate Tora U Devar Adonai Mirushalayim Baruch Shenatan Tora Tora Baruch Shenatan Torah Torah Le'amo Yisrael B'hikdu Shato Beit Yaakov L'chuven Elcha Be'or Adonai O house of Jacob, come, let us walk by the light of our God. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonai Nu, Kadosh. 
Kadosh Shemo. It's Chaim. So tonight, it is my pleasure to share a Devar Torah with you that was written by Rabbi Jacqueline Mates Muchin. And Rabbi Muchin is the senior rabbi at Temple Sinai in Oakland. I was a second year rabbinical student serving a Midwestern congregation for the high holidays. Prior to my arrival, the local Jewish paper wrote a short article as a means of introducing me to the community. Among other things, the article included that I am Chinese. After reading it, a woman from the congregation found me at service and said, it doesn't matter where you're from, you can be just as Jewish as the rest of us. I didn't understand what she was saying at first. I'm from San Francisco. Was she suggesting that people who hail from the West Coast are less Jewish than Midwesterners? Oh. But then I realized she was betraying two different biases. First, the assumption that all Asian people are born in Asia. And second, that because I'm Chinese, I need to be officially welcomed into a Jewish community. It's a strange feeling having someone welcome you into your own community. It's like having a stranger trying to welcome you into your own home. I already knew that I was just as Jewish as the rest of us, but I didn't know that she didn't think of me as equally Jewish until she told me by saying what she said. She was not welcoming me so much as trying to convince herself that I could be Jewish as she was. Someone telling you that they don't think you belong, even in a nice way, is a hurtful thing to hear. Thinking of diversity as a matter of welcome or inclusion is a mistake we often make in the Jewish community. Both of those terms suggest that there are insiders who have to bring outsiders into the fold. That sets up a power dynamic that can be diminishing and insulting. Rather, diversity is a matter of recognition, recognizing who already comprises our community. When we try to be inclusive, we have a fixed understanding of who the insiders are and who the outsiders are. When we try to recognize who we are as a community, it allows our minds to focus on learning more about ourselves so that we might grow and change our perceptions as a people. This week's Torah portion, Vet Hanan, can give us a helpful framework as we consider what it means to truly recognize the diversity we have in our community. Through the words of the Shema, which we will read tonight, we explore the meaning of oneness. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Eternal is our God. The Eternal is one. This six-word phrase is one of the most important texts in Jewish life. 
as we chant and say it ritually, it connects us with all other Jews through time and space. It grounds us as a part of the Jewish people, and it teaches us the Jewish perspective on the nature of God. Taken as an adjective, one means that God is singular. The Shema, then, is a statement of monotheism. There is only one God, as opposed to many gods. That is the idea at the foundation of Jewish thought and tradition. It helps to remind us that our God is the God of all people, and thus all of humanity comes from the same source. However, taken as a noun, one means unity. One is the sum of all fractions and parts. It represents wholeness and completeness. No one and nothing exists outside of that oneness. Dr. Judith Plasco captures this beautifully when she writes in her book, Standing Again at Sinai. The capacity to see the one in and through the changing forms of the many, to glimpse the whole in and through its infinite images is what monotheism is truly about. God is the whole and everything else is a piece of that unity. We might not know what each of those parts are, but when we encounter them, we know that their very existence means they are a part of the oneness. When we mistakenly see some as insiders and others as outsiders, we have split the one into multiple parts. That's what makes us feel fractured and broken. That's what makes some people ostracize and isolate others, and sometimes even themselves. If instead we see all others as already a part of the whole, then we approach the encounter with openness, ready to accept whatever aspects of diversity that they bring, even if it's something new, something we've never seen before. Our goal must be to change our perception of who we already are. When we do, we may come closer to truly experiencing oneness. Can you hear us song? May it be God's will. Amen. And tonight, as I said earlier, we are going to be reading the words of the Shema, and the words of the Shema continue on with the Ve'a Hafta, and as I love to do every year, so I invite anyone in the congregation that would like to join me in the chanting. The words are in your seed tour on page... Uh, page so the Shema is the bottom of nine, and it's just the first line of the Shema that comes out of the Torah. The second line's an add-in. And then um, the first part of the Ve'a Hafta on page 10. And uh, since we've been talking about unity, I think we should have a community aliyah. And I would like to invite Deborah Blinder to be our communal representative so, and to lead us in the aliyah. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher bachar banu mikol ha'amim v'natan lanu et torato. Baruch Ata Adonai noten ha'torah. Amen. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha. Bechol levavcha uvchol nafshecha uvchol meodecha vehayu hadvarim ha'ele 
אשר אנוכי מצווך היום על לבדך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם ושבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידך והיו לתותפות בהן עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ביתך ובישרך אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו, ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן. יאשר כוחכם, may you all be strengthened. Thank you, Debra, for being our representative, and יאשר כוח to you. And as is our custom each Shabbat, in the presence of our Torah, we like to offer prayers for healing. To our friends at home, if you have friends and family members that you are praying for this week, so please put their names in the chat so that we may add them so to our Misha Berach prayer. And I invite those in our congregation here to say aloud the names of friends and family members who they are thinking of who are in need of prayers of healing. And this week we also are thinking of these loved ones. We are especially thinking of Casey Campbell Shadman, Diane Dakin, Randy Watkins, Gabby Lopez Smith, Rebecca Williams, Victor Altman, Samantha Porteous, John Kaplan, Barry Klein, Ellen Clore, Carol Hogue, Rachel Frederick, Brooke Hall, Dan Fine, Maria Madrigal, Imelda Tamez, Crimelda Tamez, Wendy Obada, Charlene Gross, Lou Hardy, Peter Norton, Andy Bernhard, and Steve Campbell. And in addition to the names that were mentioned out loud, we are also thinking of Andrew Singer, Ed Eisert, Lisa Rampola, Ashley Rampola, Diane Short, Margo Hanscom, Sandra Lenzgraft, and Richard Solomon. The words of the Misha Berach can be found in your Sidur on page 23.
mentioned aloud all of us here who are in need of these same prayers of refuat hagef refuat haguf and refuat hanefesh prayers for healing of mind and body and spirit baruch ata adonai rofe hacholim blessed are you adonai who heals the sick and please join me in a prayer for our country and for the state of israel guardian of life and liberty grant blessings to our country Grant our leaders patience and wisdom. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife, and may we never be lazy in the work of peace. Eternal God, grant blessings to the state of Israel. Protect your people, shelter them with peace, and grant them deliverance from the violence that surrounds them. May they live in harmony with one another and with their neighbors. May the bonds of faith and fate that unite the Jews of all lands be a source of strength and blessing to each of us and to all the world. And let us say, Amen. So normally at this point in the service, we do Hagba, we lift the scroll and we turn it around so that everybody can see the beautiful words of the scroll. But the reality is, I just can't Hagba anymore. <laughs> Last week we were lucky enough to have Andrew here to do it for us. Uh, he is not here this week, but in the spirit of my Devar Torah, let's recognize that this is who we are and let's look at maybe a different way we can do it. So with apologies, I'm gonna put Deborah on the spot because Deborah and I are gonna hagba together. So Deborah, you're gonna grab here and here. I'll grab here and here. We will lift, and then we'll do the little kind of do -si do and turn around so everyone can see it. And I invite those who are able to please rise. Vezot ha-torah, asher samosha, lifnei b'nei Yisrael, al pi Adonai, be'yad Moshe. Not so bad. <laughs> and I'm going to give a little shout out to Jack and Ross. Next time, let me know you're coming. Vezot <laughs> HaTorah. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. Ki lekach tov natati lahem torati hi al ta'azovu etzchayim hi Lama Chazikimba Betomcheha Mehusha Derracheha Darchenoam Vechonetivoteha Shalom Hashivenu Adonai Elecha Benashuva Chadesh Chadesh Amenu Chadesh Amenu Keke we continue with the Alenu on page 25. Alenu le Shabbach la don ha kol la tet kidula le otse he preishit shelo asanu kigoye ha aratzot ve lo ho samanu kemish pechota adama. Shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vegoralenu 
kecho hamonam pa anach nu korim umishtachabim humodim lifne melech malche hamlachim hakadosh baruchu venehemar vehaya adonai lemelech al kol haaretz bayom hahu bayom hahu yiyeh adonai echad u'shemo 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 Please be seated, Yasha Koch, and thank you, Deborah. The announcements are getting longer. <laughs> Family Promise is back. We will be hosting families, two families, from August 28th to September 11th, and this is our last opportunity to be a part of the Family Promise experience until 2023. We need cooks, we need van drivers, we need evening hosts, we need overnight hosts. You can volunteer by signing up on the volunteer sheet that's at the Oneg table, um, or if you're at home, or if you're not comfortable writing on Shabbat, feel free to send me an email, or text me, or reach out to Kathy Meyer, and uh, we would be happy to welcome you into the Family Promise Fold. Um, please mark your calendars for Sunday, August 28th. Uh, and that's when a new year of learning begins at Tempo Israel, our Jewish learning lab. We'll be back full swing with uh, opportunities for both children and adults. Please keep an eye on your email for course information and registration information. And a happy birthday and shout out to our friends who celebrated this past week. Happy birthday to Roger Gold, to Sharon Kaplan, and to Ann Kober. And I want to add, a happy bat mitzvah anniversary to my good friend, Lindy Passer. You know, we got to celebrate every moment we possibly can, right? This is the anniversary of Lindy's bat mitzvah. And in case you didn't know it, Lindy became bat mitzvah as an adult. So never too late. Now, I think I've saved the best announcement for the last. So next Friday, we are all invited to celebrate the upcoming marriage of Jory Gwazdoff, Rabbi and Lindy's youngest son and the executive director of Family Promise, to his lovely, vibrant, intelligent bride-to-be, Courtney Carter. Courtney and Jory will be called to the Torah for their oof-roof, a special aliyah that's reserved for the bride and groom on the Shabbat before their wedding. The oof roof will make our ordinary Shabbat an extraordinary moment of joy. You do not want to miss it. Please come and celebrate. I'd also like to give a great big thank you to Deborah Blinder for all of her participation this evening, for Donna Smith, who is an amazing accompanist and a joy to work with, for Beth, who brings so much soul and adds so much ruach, so much spirit to our worship experience, and to Ari, you have no idea how glad I am that you're back. <laughs> or maybe you do. <laughs> As is our custom at the end of each service, we take a moment to remember those who came before us. To our friends at home, if there is someone that you are saying Kaddish for this week, I invite you to please put their names in the chat so that we can bring their name into the holy space that we have created. Is there anyone here who is in the Shloshim or the Shana? If you've lost a loved one in the last 30 days or the last year, I invite you to please stand and share their name with us. Sylvia Schatzman. Sylvia Schatzman. Juan Rodriguez. Arturo Reyes. Demetria Arguellon. and Aliyah Deshay. And this week, as a community, we remember these loved ones who have a yort site, the anniversary of their passing, in the week ahead. We remember with love Adrian Monroe Minkin, 
Irene Tratner, Lily Adler, Harry Gleskin, Fred Cunningham, Bradley Cantor, Bella Zeff, Joan Berg, Henry Mellon, Max Unterberg, Irma Bramer, George Hirschfeld, Wolf Chazen, Eugene Weinstein, Lucille Berman, Eric Murrell, Murray Friedman, Bessie Korbholtz, Clyde Stevens, Abraham Katz, Stanley Solomon, Herman Bard, Herman Bardi, and Harry Harris. Is there anyone else who has your site this evening? And our friends at home remember with love, Annie Berger. In addition to our loved ones, we take into our hearts the six million who perished in the Holocaust, many leaving no one to say Kaddish for them, as well as all those who have died in acts of needless violence so, and all those who have passed from COVID-19. So in support of the mourners, I invite the congregation to please stand and share in the words of the mourners' Kaddish. Yit kadal v'yit kadash shemei rabah ve'alma divra chirutei v'amlich malchutei v'chayei chon v'yomei chon uv'chayei d'chol b'ch Yisrael ba'agala uv'izman kari v'imru amen. Yehei shmei rabah mevarach le'olam ulamei amaya yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nasei V'yit hadar, v'yit hale, v'yit halal, shemei de kudisha b'richu. Le'ela min kol birchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechemata, da'amiran be'alma v'imru amen. Yehe shlama raba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael v'imru amen. O se shalom v'imromav, huya ase shalom, aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael Ve'imru, amen. May the source of all creation send comfort to all those who mourn so, and strength to all of us who need to be uplifted during these moments of grief. Please be seated. And please join me in Osei Shalom at the bottom of page 27 because as the rabbis taught us, we should always end on a happy note. So, oh, say shalom.
to say shalom. It's so fun, so uplifting, wonderful peace. And as we do each Shabbat, we join together in a Kiddush and a Motzi. The words are the very last page in your Siddur if you'd like to have them in front of you. Please join me in the Kiddush as we sanctify the sweetness of Shabbat. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kidshanu B'mitzvotav V'ratzavahanu V'shabat Kodesho V'ahava U'vratzon in Chilanu, Zikaron Lemaase, Vadreshit, Kihu Yom Techila, Lemi Krae Kotesh, Zechelitziat, Mitraim, Kibanu Bachata, Veltanu. Kidashta Mikol Hamim Veshabat Kotshecha Veahava Uvratzon Inchaltanu Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. L'chaim. And thank you, Deborah, for baking a delicious challah for us this evening. Ooh, very pretty. Mm. <laughs> Please join me in a mozi. Baruch HaTadonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Amotzi lechem min ha'aretz. Amen. And on Shalosh, let's all wish our friends at home a great big Shabbat Shalom. Echad, Shtayim, Shalosh. Shabbat Shalom. See you next week for the Ufruf. <laughs>